at that. Hey gang, welcome to the RX Experience. I'm your host, Ali Mukdad, and today we're covering mRNA vaccines, specifically the COVID-19 vaccine. Oh yeah, let's f do this. Who the f are you? I'm, uh, I'm Sharpie McSharpen Schmiggle. Sh Sharpie McSharpen Schmiggle. McSharpen Schmiggle? What oh, the f Okay, how can I help you, sir? I'm here to give you your shot. Are you the COVID-19 vaccine? That's right. Sure. Can we do this after uh, we finish recording? Because I got a lot of shit I got to go over here. Okay. Mm, I can't wait to get up all inside you. Jeez. So anyway, today we're going to discuss the COVID-19 vaccine. Let's go. So what the f is mRNA? Luckily, we have a special guest today that can help us break this shit down. Dr. Aaron Levesque. Right. So mRNA or messenger ribonucleic acid. So this is a piece of genetic material that is very important for creating proteins. So when it comes to the mRNA vaccine, no, I'm just, I'm just joking, get the f out of here. Instead, we're gonna welcome to the show an expert in the field, an RNA biochemist, Dr. Lin Wong. Thank you for having me today. So can you help us explain how this vaccine works? Maybe give us a little insight. Uh, sure, uh, this COVID-19 vaccine is an mRNA vaccine. So what is uh, mRNA? It is a genetic material just like DNA. So uh, you can think mRNA as almost like a blueprint. So mRNA goes into the cells where there's ribosomes, which are a machinery the cells use to build proteins. So it tells ribosome which amino acids to use in a specific order. And your ribosome is like, okay, let's do this. So eventually this long amino acid chain will fold on itself and form a really intricate 3D structure, which is a functional protein. In this case, it's the coronavirus spike protein. So once this spike protein is made, it gets packaged and transported outside the cell and delivered to where the immune system can recognize it. So next time, when it sees this protein on the surface of a real coronavirus, it will respond right away and kill it. What's in the box? Brad Pitt, seven, classic. Uh -oh. Yeah, so considering that we're using genetic material, a lot of people are concerned about this altering their DNA. No, it's not possible because our body doesn't have the enzymes that required to integrate mRNA into DNA genome. So after you get your vaccine- Thank you for everything that you've gone over today. Great information, bye. So a lot of people are concerned that the vaccine can actually give you coronavirus. This is impossible because we're only making a small protein associated with the coronavirus, not the entire thing. So it won't give you COVID, but you might develop symptoms. Pain at the injection site, tiredness, headache, muscle pain, chills, joint pain, and fever. So a common question that I get is, is the vaccine safe and effective? How is it developed so fast? Interesting fact, we've been studying coronaviruses for about 20 years now. We had the SARS in 2003, MERS in 2012. So there's a lot of data on trying to figure out how to properly treat these diseases. And we had international collaboration. We had the whole world working on this problem. We had government funding and also manufacturers produced a boatload of these vaccines prior to approval, just so it was ready to go once they did get approval. And it's worth noting the sample sizes of these trials. In the Moderna trial, there was 30,000 participants and about 43,000 participants in the Pfizer BioNTech trial. Oh, crazy. Wow. With these larger sample sizes, we're able to get more information on safety and efficacy much quicker. Contraindications and precautions. If you have any severe allergy to polyethylene glycol, you are not a candidate for this vaccine. There's also been some rumors that the COVID vaccine causes infertility. The proposed mechanism is, goes in, 
enters the ovaries and starts scrambling the eggs. There's no evidence to substantiate these claims. Damn it, I have a piece of gum the whole time. Contact your doctor. So there's a lot of people flowing the idea that the COVID vaccine gives you Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy is a medical condition where you can experience temporary weakness or paralysis on one side of your face. While some people did get Bell's palsy in the trials, there isn't enough evidence to substantiate any type of correlation with the vaccine itself. So I go to the Q&A? First question from Ashley V. Do I need to get a vaccine if I already had COVID? And how long does it take for the shot to be effective? So yeah, it's recommended after you recover from COVID to develop a better immune response if you do get exposed to COVID again. And it generally takes about two weeks for the vaccine to be fully effective, but everyone's a little different. Remember, after the second dose. So you're gonna take two doses. Don't forget to get it. It's so important because you go from 50% to 90% effectiveness with the second dose. Oh, do it. Please don't do it. Question number two from Keyshef R. Can I get the shot in my Absolutely, Keyshef. You can shove that shot right up your Everyone else, we're gonna get it in the deltoid region right here. Question number three from John S. Do I have to keep wearing a mask after my COVID shot? So yeah, there's limited data on how transmission is affected by the vaccines. So continue to follow the CDC guidelines. All right, great, that's our show for today. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna get my vaccination. All right, finally, let's do this. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. All you had to do was roll up your sleeve. You gotta give it to me right here. And don't forget, keep your arm as loose as a noodle. Otherwise, this is gonna hurt a lot more than it's supposed to. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Hey, that, that wasn't so bad. Um, but we can't have a, a sharp hanging around. Do you have like a safety retractable mechanism? Maybe? Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, definitely. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, I guess that killed him. Anyway, be happy, be healthy, be well. Peace. There have been some conspiracy theories that the COVID vaccine has a microchip. People have been coming into the pharmacy and they're like, the government's f***ing tracking me. They're going to f***ing get me. They got my dad. They got my mom. Now they're going to f***ing get us all. Nah. I can't shoot. Let me see it.